just bringing the refrigerator out to the street. Hell yeah, man, these shorts is hot. <laughs> into a 1955 old farmhouse on a 10 acre plot of land. And part of our journey into creating a homestead is just turning it around and making it more livable of a place. The first step is to turn our kitchen into a great place that we want to cook and live in at all times. And the first step of that is taking out what we don't like and just sprucing it up. Here is a glimpse of the kitchen in its wooden glory to give you a viewpoint of what the kitchen looks like today and where it's gonna go. We're working on a tight budget, so paint and butcher block is gonna be our DIY route to a better kitchen. First up, we're gonna take everything out of the cabinets, clean out the kitchen, and then label up those cabinets and get to work. So let's start the cleanup. Once we were all cleaned up, we started to work on removing some of the old equipment, like the stovetop. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. So we redo this uh, countertop. I don't think this is a usable space it's not anymore. anymore. I mean, we were just complaining about you don't have space for the countertop, and now I just ripped it all out. We were a bit eager to start ripping things out, but we needed to make sure that everything was removed for the electrician coming. Here's our kitchen. We ripped out the fry top. And now, what are we gonna do? Temporary Quizmax. Doing us justice for a little bit while we're uh, taking care of it. But we took out the stove top and quickly uh, put a piece of wood over it just to temporarily give us some counter space. Um, right now we're moving the oven. And uh, what we're gonna do is these cabinets all run into one another. So if you look inside, it just goes to the back of this wall. So first I'm going to uh, uh, take the oven out, uh, make sure the electricity is um, all capped off, and ready, ready for the actual electrician to um, install a new 220 because it's a 120 volt. The uh, voltage was shared between. Um, and we're gonna get rid of this whole unit up top and our new stove and heat, uh, stove top, I guess it, it's called. Um, range, new range. range. New range will be right here, uh, it's 30 inches out. So it's pretty much the exact same uh, setup as we have here, but this space is obviously gone. And then we'll put a, a venting system um, in place of this cabinet. So should be nice. Uh, I guess we'll see how it works with the door. That's gonna be annoying. At the Maybe, but in the future we might get rid of that door and rearrange our room here. But I'm gonna put away Max and get to work. Puppy! But uh, just gonna disconnect the connections, recap them, um, pretty much just disable this so it's safe and put it back in there for the electrician to uh, do what they gotta do. Then we can get rid of the oven and then you can start tearing uh, down our excess walls. These pieces come out as, uh, as whole as I can get it so that we can reuse it. We're not gonna try, and try not to waste anything. Destruction man, destruction man. All he does is destruct things. Chris went ahead and basically deconstructed the whole area that the oven was in and took down the additional cabinet because we are going to put the new oven in that spot. Meanwhile, it's upside down. just kidding. I helped out as well as you can see, but we just took everything down as much as we could and you can even see the light starting to change outside because it took us quite a bit of time. 5 a.m. jigsaw action. Let's 
safety first. Chris went ahead and jigsawed out the piece of wood as much to keep the cabinets intact as he could. Ooh, wait, that looks really good. Now here's a view of what everything looked like once it was removed. There was some rough edges on the sides of the cabinets. So Chris went ahead with his orbital sander and just sanded up those edges nice and smooth so that we could keep that side of the cabinet later on when we start to paint those up. And then we removed some more of the backsplash as we are going to be doing some subway tiles on there. We wanted to make sure just everything was cleaned up and ready to go before we start working on the rest. Now, don't be deceived by these sleeping pups. Our house was very much in disarray, and this is going to be a multi-series makeover, so stay tuned for our next video to see how we continue this makeover session. See you guys next time.